Hey, one of the most common questions I get is how do I move myself up with my boss where I'm saying, hey, here's what I, I don't just get told what to do. I get to be more human. I can say what I see, what I think, what I like, what I propose, what I intend to do. And I have more influence over decision making. Well, you got to be careful because historically and in society, speaking up to your boss with a different opinion has had a long and perilous history. Now, one of the earliest stories comes from the Iliad. This is the story from, written down by Homer 2,500 years ago uh, about the Greeks have, who have gone to uh, Troy. They're attacking the Trojans. And the reason is because the Greek king's brother ran off. That, that's Helen. She ran off or was abducted by the Trojans. And a common soldier, whose name is Thersites, is speaking up to the king in front of this big gathering, basically saying, hey, we've been here for nine years, haven't we had enough? Here's what he says. What moves the great king to complain? Tis thine, whatever the warrior's breast inflames, the golden spoil, and thine the lovely dames. With all the wealth our wars and blood bestow, thy tents are crowded and thy chests overflow. Now, this is the 1899 translation by Alexander Pope. And the dames he's talking about are the slaves that they take that end up in the king's tent. And he's saying, hey, isn't this enough? We're doing all this for you. What are we getting out of it? What, are they, what, what, what happens to Thersites? He's beaten with a stick till he falls down and the rest of the people, till they come to his aid? No, they laugh at him. So not only does the king and his peers not appreciate it, but the rest of the soldiers look askance at this behavior. So you got to be really careful about doing this. I've screwed this up multiple times and what happens is I pricked the fragile egos of my bosses who couldn't stand a dissenting opinion and uh, it, it in some cases didn't really work out so great for me. But here's what you can do if you want to do this. You got to make it safe. That's the key. Earn the right to be heard, earn the right to have influence. In that order, step one. And the right way to earn the right to be heard is to make it safe for your boss to hear your, your opinion, which is going to be a dissenting or an outlying opinion. So in order to make it safe, two things. Give choice, small steps. You give choice by saying, hey, would you like to hear what we see? Would you like to hear what we think? Would you like to hear what I would do if I were you? Uh, and in each step, so you're going step by step by step. You're not just saying, oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. What we should do is this. So you're going step by step and you're giving choice. Would you like to hear? It's okay. They can say no. I am also okay with prefacing this with, hey, we're going to support your decision. It's your call. Uh, this is not the time to invoke, oh, we're all in this together. Like, no, this is your call. Make it clear. You're not challenging your boss's authority. Now, you might say, well, why do I need to make it safe for my boss? If they're the leader, they ought, to be, um, they ought to be able to handle, they ought to be interested in dissenting opinions. Yeah, I agree with you, but that's not the way most leaders are. And if you're asking the question, how do I influence up, then they're probably already not predisposed to inviting these opinions. But you can go here, 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 earn the right, win at this level, then win at this level, and just slowly and incrementally earn the right to be heard, and then earn the right to have influence over decisions. I'm David Marquet. That's your Leadership Nudge.